Hello and welcome to the first episode in this tutorial on how to make a planet defence game. In the first episode of this series, we will be drawing the planet for our game and then putting the planet that we drew into our Hexflexor project. So first, let's just create a template Hexflexor project. So just like we did with the Pong tutorial, open up a command prompt and type CD space and drag in that game projects folder and click enter. Now we can type Flixel TPL and we will name this Planet Defense just like that and when you click enter it will create that project and if you look inside your game projects folder you will see a Planet Defense folder which has all of our template information. So open up your text editor like Sublime Text and open the Planet Defense folder which was just created and you will see the template code here. Now one of the first things we will be doing in this episode is just drawing the planet which our game will have in it. So you can use any image editing program to create your planet image. I will be using GIMP because it's free and anyone can download it no matter what their operating system but you could use Photoshop or Pixel Edit too. So once you've downloaded GIMP, if that's what you're using, launch it. And you will see this interface here, which looks awfully complex, but it isn't really. Go to File, New, and then just type in here for the dimensions 200 wide, and 200 pixels high. Make sure this is selected to pixels. Now go under advanced options and change fill width from background color, which will fill it with a white background color, to transparency. That's really important for it to look uh, proper in our game. Now click OK and you will see this blank canvas where we can draw our planet. So zoom into your newly created image and to draw a perfect circle in GIMP, go to the oval select tool and with this we can just select a region in our image and turn off anti-aliasing. Now go to the top left pixel, you can see which is the exact pixel by these numbers which you can see down here, which is where your mouse is currently at. So if you go to 0, 0 or one one that works too and move your mouse down to 199 by 199 now it's very important that you've turned anti-aliasing off at this step because otherwise when you fill it it won't look proper so go to the fill tool and now we can select the color we wish to use to fill our planet with so if you click on this box here you can change the color uh, of your pen so let's just fill the planet with a, let's just say this light green color here. And now just click in the planet to create our circle. Now we can draw uh, on the canvas uh, and fill in our planet. So I'm just going to quickly draw one. You can draw it however you like. Now when you're drawing, click on the pencil tool and make sure the size here is all the way down to 1 so you're drawing with a single pixel and now draw your planet as you like I'm just going to be drawing a few swiggles
so this is the plan that I drew. It's not perfect, uh, and I'm by no, no means a perfect artist, but this series is focusing on programming a planet defense anyway, not drawing the art for one. So once you've drawn your planet, just go ahead and go File, uh, Save As, and then navigate to the Game Projects fo uh, folder, and then, uh, actually, no, sorry, go File, Export As, and then go uh, to your Game Projects file, Planet Defense, Assets, Images, and then just name it. Uh, planet.png with a capital P and just click export and export just like that so once you have saved your project the planet you can navigate back to your editor and we're not going to have a menu state just yet so we can delete that just like we did with the Pong game and we can open up our main file and change it from starting in the menu state to starting in the play state. Now let's quickly create a planet class. So in the source folder, create a new file and save this as planet.hx. And then up the top, just write package space semicolon to put it in um, our project. And write class planet with a capital P extends clicks sprite and then opening and closing curly brackets and because we are using flex sprite we have to import it so write import flexel dot flex sprite and now we are going to make the new method so write public function new and we pass in an X and a Y, so make sure they're capital, and create an opening and closing curly bracket. And now inside here, just write super X Y. So what this is doing is when we create the planet, we want to know where we should put it, so the X and Y coordinates, and then we're telling the hex flexor sprite that we extended that um, we are creating a sprite here. And I think I made a typo there. There we go. Um, now we want to load the planet image which we saved so go down a few lines and just write load graphic lowercase l but cap capital g and then in brackets we want to pass a string so in quotation marks we have to put the location of that image so just put assets slash images slash capital p planet dot png and put a semicolon now back in our play state class so this is the state that's going to run when we run our game in the create method we will be putting our planet so because we want to remember this planet up the top where we will put our variables just write there for variable planet with a lowercase p colon which means is of a type and then capital P planet so here we're saying remember the planet and refer to it with a lowercase p because this is a variable and this is of a type planet so we could create multiple planets and we could name this cat dog or anything but it would always be of the type planet we can't change this unless we change the name of this file so just leave that as a lowercase p, planet equals planet. So now we're telling it that it should remember something. We have to tell it what to remember. So in the create method, so what's run when our game starts, just write planet equals new planet with a capital P. And now it wants the X and Y position for our planet. So for now, let's just put the top left of the planet to be at middle of the screen so just write flex g dot width so the width of the screen divided by two comma flex g dot height divided by two and put a semicolon and now write add planet to add that new 
fun variable to our scene. Now go back here um, to our command prompt and type cd planet defense. Um, uh, so navigate in command prompt to that planet defense folder and write line test Nico. Hopefully this works without errors. And here we go, we've got a planet on the screen, and it's looking pretty good. Um, so this is the planet I drew. Now it's pretty small, and we want this game to look fairly pixelated. So to, if you want, you can increase the size, which I think we will. So go back to your code, and in the main file, it will just adjust one of the, um, these variables here. So in game width, so that's the width of the variable, uh, the width of the pixels of the game, half this. So instead of 640, we will just write 320. And for the game height, we will put 240 instead of 480. Now, if we run the game, you will see that our planet appears with the top left of the image being in the center of our screen. And you might see the problem that we've got this black border here, but we can fix that in the future. At the moment, we've got a planet on our screen and it's the right size that we want. Uh, one thing about this game is we're not going to be able to see what's on the other side of the planet while we're playing, which will add an interesting gameplay element to it. So, I think this is the end of episode one. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, you can leave a comment if you want, telling me um, if you'd like the art, when I make the art for these games, if you'd like it sped up or not, like I did in this episode. Hope you've enjoyed, and if you want to contact me, you can contact me on Twitter with at 5mixer. Thanks for watching.